Holy shit, boys. Holy shit. Holy shit, look at that. That would have definitely killer doll pinned itself. Thank frig, boys. Wow. Left handed drill bit. Sometimes things aren't as uh, difficult as they would initially appear, I suppose. But yeah, we'll keep those handy in our. Uh, I'm sure I got I've seen them before. I just. Watch, I'll find them right now. Friggin' right, say, I can't even believe. A, that I did that, but D, that that come out so easy. We got a, we got a couple different, uh, we got a couple gas boot selections here, so that one looks in pretty good shape. We'll just use that. Can't get a new gasket, eh? I mean, you can, but, you know, weeks and this and that's and driving all over the place, but, you know, it was about a half inch broke off down in there. That was handy. Oh dear. She snapped like twain. That's crazy. Broking! But anyways, we'll give this a uh, little dousy poo. Little dousy poo down the down the crankshaft. And in and amongst the area. From wit. And then, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to fit in there, but uh, we can give her a whirl. You know what I mean? We can give, give her the old whirl, if you will. But, uh, yeah, let's see uh, if we can even get this in there. We'll probably have to take the engine out again, eh? What happened? Let's set that up over here, maybe. Factory broken. Oh, can you see? Oh yeah, just totally mash up the gasket. That's what you want to do, you fucking idiot. Make sure the bolts are the right bolts before we get too carried away. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out for me here, boys. I need another arm. Oh, oh yeah.
Why could you even see anything? Idiot. Oh, not that it matters, but she's in there. Power steering pump. Fuck you, eh? Goof. So when, uh, when that seal that I didn't change leaks, tear that son bitch out of there. Change that seal, eh? Be awesome. Yeah. Oh. Like armpit juice on the end. That's that's great. That's wonderful. Oh, I just got a. This guy won't come out, which is super handy. But uh, I figure I'll just give her the little torchy poo here. I don't want to get too carried away. But she's definitely stuck. I don't have a. a fucking. Uh, tubing wrench or whatever you call them that big so uh yeah i don't know maybe vice grips maybe we'll shoot you the pit patantler a little dollop of the how you doing oh we'll get the big the monkey the monkey dink out Got him. Just about got me. Just about got me.
Turned out way better than I even thought it would. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Now our boot won't just come flying off of there. Our booty. Our bootay, if you will. Customers book! Bloop! Couple fing stove pipes. That'll work. Lockety schmick schplock and just had to chuck together a little hunter cooler pipe there. No big deal. We're just building custom trucks here in Inwood. Of course that's gotta go in a little bit more, but you know we're just we're just fitting it. No clamps or anything yet. Still gonna make this side. Just cut that off and put a stove pipe on it and Try her out, I suppose. Eh? Respect, I suppose. But uh, yeah, let's do that. That worked out. Well, like it was supposed to. I mean, it's a bead roller. You're putting a bead roller nubbin on the end of the stovepipe, but there's a pipe around here somewhere. There it is. There it is. And then I got a couple ends to where I can, you know, use it for something else. Eh? You could just make a, a chordy or something. You know, we've just put a couple ends on that and use that. We're having, but uh, anyways, I'll cut a length of this and then we'll put a put a put a better than factory friggin' bead roll on the end of her there, and uh, stove pipes, stove pipes your grand probably, probably. Not horrible, but totally horrible. You know what I mean? What do you think? Factory or Inwood Customs? Factory or Inwood Customs? <gasps> eh? I apologize. I'm just an idiot. Just a fucking idiot goof. Whoa, whoa. Wood jack. Oh, they packed it good. Nice. They packed her big time good. Oh, spacer block. Shift tower of the plastic variety. Hmm. Interesting. Shift tower of the plastic variety. Oh, shift lever knob, handle knob, and.
shifter knob. Holy cripoli. Yeah, dudes. Oh, yeah, and I got my coolant lines hooked up and can't remember what all I showed you. Got the power steering return lines all hooked up and the one to the pump hooked up or the one to the uh, steering box hooked up from the from the air school. So I got uh, somewhere around here I got uh, the one from the van and the one from the, the Dodge truck and then we just splice them together so that's basically what we need to have made. I mean we could just cobble it. That might end up being what we do but uh, Hopefully we can just get like a nice braided, braided something rather made for like seven, eight hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Well, let's have a little, a little gander here. The situation we found ourselves in. Okay. Well, this one has like pads on it, and this one doesn't it's just fat metal you can see how wore wore a notch into that this one isn't terrible but it's still got quite the groove in it so it's supposed to be square on the end and this one's like got a chasler probably from hanging out with your arm on the friggin uh Diabolo word, but I think it would probably this is just like cast iron. There's no uh, so this one has a Way smaller foot and then this plastic thing that goes on there. So I don't know Friggin best work hey eh? friggin expensive as f like big time So there's that But uh, yeah, man we got our new friggin' our new covener. It even comes with a reverse sensor, so we could have, uh, you know, tail light and stuff. It does really bad. Won't be long now. I'll be ready to put the transmission together, boys. I, I thought the last package was the last one because I forgot about the top cover, but now no excuses. But well, yeah, I do need to build or buy or make some sort of puller but uh, other than that should be good to go all right well I feel like we've uh, accomplished some great things boys we got the power steering pump and there we got all the return lines all the different things of course I got to put clamps on everything but you know if I got to take it apart again for something else for access to different things I don't want to around right so we got uh, we got quite a bit done quite a bit done really not really but really you know what I mean that was a pretty good uh, pretty good little pile of pile of parts we we jabbed on there so not too bad I got these hoses here this is the one will go down into the into the one orifice and then the other one over here but yeah we got exhaust and some different things to sort of contend with so when I get the clutching the bell housing and all that friggin uh, bolted on and we got all our parts for a transmission so I'm hoping that uh, potentially this weekend we can uh, have a crack at that maybe that should only take you know three four weeks and uh, yeah but really we put fuel in the tank once that transmission's built we stab it in there bolt the drive shaft in we could drive it eh? We could friggin' drive it at that point. We'd have to jump start it, but you know what I mean? Like, jump the friggin' starter. Really, two wires. Connect two wires under the dash and the, and the key will start the thing, so. Yeah, not, uh, not a whole lot left, but still a whole lot left, you know what I mean? Yeah, hopefully... Boys, I need you to I need you to pray to baby Jesus for me. I need you to ask baby Jesus if, if he can please give me the, the strength and the wisdom to be announced of the transmission, to have the pliance fortitude to which will allow me to not 
fuck up. You know what I mean? If you could do that for me, that'd be great. But other than that, boys, we, we really are van building spooshless. I Look, we are. Oh yeah, and I started to build something else. Oh, these things over here, and then I quit. I got distracted. Squirrel! So then just, these are bend lines, and then I gotta drill a hole, and then put a screw hole in a screw hole, and then that's gonna end up being the, the top radiator mounts, and they're just gonna bolt onto the top of the guy there, and then that'll just hold onto those little, those little num num number leanies, and just hold her into possession. And that'll be great. Oh yeah, I gotta find, uh, the fan, the fan clutch mount thing, boys. Boys, maybe somebody has some parts, Cummins's for this thing here. I need the four bolts, the four bolts for the fan, for the fan mixigator. I can show you on this one maybe. Oh, it's right there, right there. Same. I was gonna take them out of this truck, but then this truck might overheat. Hey, if I ever drive it again, I apologize. But anyways, boys, appreciate all the comments. Let me know what you stink there. And uh, yeah, we'll get back on to her tomorrow. It'll be awesome.